Uncle Mo is fast becoming a successful sire of sires, and his grade one winner Motown is looking to become the next young Uncle Mo sire sensation. With his first yearlings going through the ring this year, we visited Motown, who stands alongside his sire at Ashford Stud. So Motown is one of those horses that is, was very well received when he arrived, but he's actually gone from strength to strength as people have seen his, uh, seen his foals and now we're in anticipation of his first yearling crop coming to the sales this year. Um, obviously what Uncle Mo has done not only as a sire but now as a sire of sires has certainly helped the momentum gather behind a horse like Motown. There's quite a lot of similarities between them um, but I think if anything Motown while he does look quite like Uncle Mo in some respects. I think there's a lot of Bernardini in him. He's got a quite much, much more of a short back. He's got a great hip and shoulder. He's got all the qualities you'd want in Bernardini, who's obviously a, a great broodmare sire, a great sire in his own right, but a great broodmare sire as well. And then he's got the strength and the scope uh, of Uncle Mo. So he's a very good mover. He was very versatile himself. He, he, he managed to, to uh, do what we all want them to do, is when be successful on dirt at two, and then if they can go on and win a grade one, um, on dirt or turf uh, at three is, is very, very important as well. What we've seen so far, we've been very encouraged by. They're very balanced, scopy looking horses. They've got a lot of quality. Uh, they move well. Uncle Mo certainly uh, stamps his stock and Motown does as well. And I think he'll get the, the good hip and shoulder, lovely top line. And he had a, a really, really good pinnock sold by Gainsway Farm uh, for Devont Latham's group. He bought the uh, colt for 185,000 um, in at Keeneland, and then sold the horse for 300,000 uh, at uh, the select sale of Saratoga. So I think that bodes very well for for the way his um, crop should be received. There's 40 plus of them in the um, in the September sale. One of them was highlighted to me by by Brian Graves of uh, of Gainsway. He said that hip two 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 four two out of closing move is one to keep an eye on. It was a $75,000 colt uh, as a uh, as a weanling. He says it's progressed very, very, very well, so I think he's a horse that we can uh, definitely keep an eye on in the later books in Keeneland. The great thing about, about Uncle Mo is that he was perceived very much as a, as a dirt horse himself, but I think we're now starting to see the versatility of the, of the Uncle Mo line, and I think that's something very important because I think it opens you up to so many more buyers at a yearling sale, and it opens up your, uh, your buying pool to, to include the rest of the world as well. And then I think the fact that you know this this Uncle Mo's sire line is something really to be reckoned with. Um, you know, the, Uncle Mo himself isn't an old horse, uh, but his first three proper stallions of stud have uh, have done very very well. With what Leoban has done, uh, what Nyquist has done, and what Outwork has done, I think we're starting to realise now that Uncle Mo is very much on the way to creating a sire line all 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 of his own. So I think now it's up to Mota.